All right, welcome back to the training. It's Frank Calabra, Jr. This is going to be video two, video two in our distribution, uh, social distribution training, okay? Uh, here's what I'm going to cover in this particular video, okay? Make sure you grab some note-taking material, and you're going to need a calculator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a visual, try to give you guys visuals every single time we do a lesson, because I really want you to get your mind wrapped around this, because this is going to change your business in a big-time way. And this is going to take you to the next level. And I've been doing this four full years, and I'm living proof that it works, guys. This is just everything. Distribution is everything, guys. I'm just going to drill that into your minds as we go forward through this course. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you a visual. Then we're going to fill out a distribution worksheet. We're going to add up the numbers. This is going to be our starting point. We're going to figure out how many people total to the exact person that you can get your message in front of, okay? Uh, you take your total distribution plus your email list, you add all these numbers together, and we get uh, the potential prospects that you can actually reach. So we're going to come up with that number. It's imperative that you come up with this number, guys. you got to know where you are. you got to know how many people you can reach. And once I started doing this, things happened for me. I mean, just things. I started doing this actually January in 2014. That's when I started doing when I started actually tracking this i started writing this down physically wrote it down every single day and i've done i've done so to this day guys so i know exactly how many people i can reach every single day and i see it month to month i see the growth of my business and the the growth of my distribution network okay all right so let's go over to my visual slides i got a couple slides put together for you and let's go over this first and then we're going to actually get into the tracking sheet and let's see here let's go just from the current slide now this is just a visual because I want you guys to really see how this works, okay? I want you to wrap your mind around this, especially if you're brand new or even if you've been around for a while and you're trying to connect the dots. You're trying to figure out, okay, I'm not having the success that I really want to have. Once again, this traffic course is going to help you. As a matter of fact, all these traffic courses are going to help you because you're going to see how all this stuff interconnects. You're going to see all these different traffic methods in this particular uh, product back here in PLS, and there's going to be some powerful information passed, but you're going to see how it all interconnects and how you can all use it in perfect synergy. And you'll see, guys, this is just a machine, man. It's just once you build the machine and once you monetize it correctly and do the correct things, big things are going to happen in your life and in your business for sure. Okay, now here's the process. People visit one of our landing pages, one of our Power Lease System landing pages. They put their email in, and they're going to see something, a product, a service, a video, something, whatever it may be, guys, whatever we want to show those people, okay? And then the email campaign kicks in. you got to have some follow-up emails. you got to have that. It's not an option. you got to have a little bit of email follow-up. I suggested between 8 and 12 letters, okay, that go out automatically over a period of two to three weeks, and that's all you really need. You don't need to go out go out any longer than that, okay? Now, while that's going on, we're generating leads, we want to build our social distribution network, okay? And I wrote down a few. I didn't write down all of them. Facebook, Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or your favorite social media site, whatever it may be. Any place that you can collect friends and be a part of a community, that's social media, guys. You guys know what it is, right? Of course you do. Now, the next thing we do is the email broadcasts, which are so critical. A lot of people skip this step. You can't skip this step. You can't skip step four and five. And th th the problem is, I think what a lot of people not having success online is they may be doing steps one, two, and three, and that's as far as it goes. But the thing was, I figured this out. I, needed, I figured this out in January 2014. I needed to do steps four and five. And then all of a sudden... I became a six-figure earner pretty fast, and then I became a seven-figure earner, and then I became a multiple seven-figure earner. So, and this is all I did, guys. I mean, this is it. This slide is worth millions of dollars. Like, I can't even put a price tag on this visual slide, and this is why I wanted to show this to you and start it off this way. You can write this down. You could take a picture of it. Whatever you want to do, guys, you can play this video over and over and over again, but this slide is priceless priceless and if you follow these simple steps you have to have results you have to have success eventually you have to guys there's no way there's no way you could fail i can't i can't understand how you could possibly fail and as you go through this training course you'll see guys okay now now let's get into it 
So there it is. There's the steps. One, two, three, four, five. We've got to do all these steps. And if your product and service, whatever it may be, is a winner, you're going to see some incredible results. Okay? That's, that's just the way it's going to work. Now, here it is. Here's another visual. I just grabbed the random landing page. Just grabbed the first one I could find. I just grabbed this thing and threw it up there. Here's the process. People, just look. Go, they go to your landing page. They land on your landing page. We're going to talk about uh, getting people to this landing page too, okay, as we go through this training course and as I teach you guys, you know, these live, uh, these live tactics that we're going to do, okay? I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But anyhow, people go to your landing page. They're going to put their email in, okay? And then they're going to see something, some type of presentation or something like that. Now, if you notice what I did here in this, in this example, I wanted to pull this up too, is you notice how I gave a people a chance to connect with us on social media? Up here, I got it highlighted in the red. I'm giving people a chance to come into our community. Okay, social proof. Social proof is critical to distribution, guys. It's critical. But I'm giving people a chance to join our social community as they go through this particular marketing system. Okay, and I try and work this into all of our marketing systems. You know, are the share funnels that we build on Power Lead System. Okay, give people a chance to connect with your your team group. Your community, whatever it may be. I like bringing them over to a Facebook group is what I like doing, okay? This is part of the process. Here is an email broadcast. Now, look look at what we're doing here, and just look at the bottom of the box. When I sign off, I'm telling people, and I do this in all my stuff, guys. If you've, if you've seen any of my emails, I put call to actions in my emails, but I'm always telling people to friend me on Facebook, always. What you got to understand is your landing page and your social media uh, profiles are just as important. Your landing page is just as important as your Facebook and your Instagram and your Twitter and whatever else that you guys are using for social media. It's just as important, but nobody tells you that. Nobody explains that. Okay, so I'm giving people a chance to connect with me on social media, okay? Now, when I come to social media, I should have brought up something current, something more current, but this is the old slide, but I just grabbed this. When they come over here, now they have a chance to see me, okay? And we're gonna in the next video, we're going to go over a little bit of branding, and we're going to go over settings, because there's some critical things that you have to do to your social media sites. And your sites don't have to be perfect, but there's certain things that you cannot mess up, and I'm gonna we're going to teach that in the next lesson. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but... I'm giving people a chance. They got an email from me. They went through my marketing funnel, okay? They went through my funnel. They seen a product or service, whatever it might be. I gave them a chance to connect with us on social media, okay? And now I sent them an email. I followed up with them with an email broadcast, not an autoresponder email, an email broadcast. And what I'm doing is I'm inviting them to connect with me over on social media, okay? I'm giving them a chance to come and see me like in-person type thing, here I am, guys, I'm a real person, okay? Come connect with me. I want you guys to see the flow, okay? Now, just to recap, this is what we did, guys. This is what we're doing, I'm just saying, okay? We're going to collect that e email address from the landing page. We show them a product, a service, whatever it may be. Email campaigns will automatically go out that we design ourselves, or if you're using a share funnel that someone else designed on PLS, whatever it may be, Okay, or some of you people are using Aweber or GetResponse, and you've linked the two platforms together, Power Lead System and Aweber or GetResponse. Okay, because guys, I use Aweber. Okay, I use Aweber for my email campaigns. Okay, and my email broadcasts. Now, and if you're brand new, don't worry if you don't understand that stuff. Okay, it's easy to connect those two platforms together if you're doing that. But I know a lot of advanced marketers are already doing that. Now. Emails are going out and dripping on your prospects, people that came through your funnel. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and build our social distribution network. We're going to go ahead and get some live content going on over there, okay, which we're going to cover in this course. And then we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to send out email broadcasts. Now, when you send out an email broadcast, and I've talked about this many times, you're going to hear me say it throughout this course, you want to talk to your list, your contacts, I'm talking about your email list, you want to talk to those people on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday at a minimum, four times a week. 
Don't let them forget about what you're doing, okay? You talk to those people four times a week. You talk to them. You can rewind this video and look at what I sent to my people. Very simple, guys. I sent them a very simple, very simple letter. Most of my emails are 100 words or less. The less you say, the more you make, okay? I'm not... I'm just, this is an example, you can just see it, you guys. I just got back from my mom's house for the holiday, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there it is, okay? I'm just giving them the information. I'm sending them right back through the funnel, right back through the funnel, okay? Whatever they've seen after they opted in at the landing page, that's where I'm sending them when they click on these buttons, okay? They go right back through, and then we're giving them a chance to connect with us on social media because what are we doing? We're building our social distribution network. We're allowing them, we're saying, listen, Friend me on Facebook. Not not it's okay to send me a friend request. No. You tell them, friend me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, LinkedIn or whatever your preferred choice is for social media. I'm just using Facebook in this example, but you use whatever you want to use. You guys see the flow? Okay. That's how it works. Now, let's go ahead and let's get into... Uh, Let's get into our training. I think that was the last slide I want to cover in this particular. Yeah, that's the last slide I want to cover in this particular training. And what I want to do next is I want to get you guys to, let's go ahead and print out. Below this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a PDF document, okay? Give you guys a PDF document, and I want you guys to print it out. And let's see if I can pull it up real quick. I don't even think I got it open. I should have it open, but I don't think I do. And here's what it looks like. And what I, what I want you to do is when you print this out, is let's see here let's click on print you can go ahead and print this out make sure it's on landscape okay make sure it's on landscape or it's not going to come out right on the paper okay and let me zoom in so we can see this a little bit better because i want to show you the format let's show you guys the format of this okay now this is going to be our social distribution worksheet you want to do this every single day you want to fill this out every single day you print it out you put down the month okay the month and the year is what i do i print out a new one the first day of the month whatever month it is okay if it's the middle of the month or whatever it is just print it out and just start right here at the first box okay and then you do one of these every single month and i think we got about 31 boxes in here so you, you should be good every single month and you want to keep these you want to tr track these now, what I used to do about for two and a half years, I did this on a yellow notepad. I had a yellow notepad. I grabbed my ruler. I drew lines, columns straight down the page, and that's how I did it for years. I did that for years, and then one day I got the idea, well, Frankie, why don't you just make some simple little worksheets, okay? And listen, you can use this worksheet or you can create your own, but I want you guys to get organized, get a clipboard, get these things printed out, and do this every single day because if you do this every day and you see the growth of your social uh, distribution network, you'll continue to work at this. And the people that work at this are going to dominate their company, their offer, their product, their service. You're going to dominate if you focus on this. I'm telling you guys, I'm living proof that this works. I focus on this every single day, expanding my distribution online. Okay, so go ahead and put the date in there, and then go over to your Facebook, okay? And what you want to do is you want to grab how many friends you have, okay? And then you want to ha grab your followers, okay? So I got, a couple of, uh, I got a couple of mine open already. And go over to your Facebook, okay, and scroll down and find your friends, okay, and grab this number. Now, some of you may not even have this displayed because your settings aren't right right? Your settings aren't right. So go ahead and adjust your settings. In the next video, I'll show you guys. We're going to go through all these profiles. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to set these things up right. But a lot of people, especially new people, even people that have been around a little while, they do not have their profiles set up correctly. And But anyhow, write down how many friends you have. Now listen, if you don't have 5,000 friends or very close to it like I have, and I, of course I could make this be 5,000 in a heartbeat because I probably got hundreds waiting for, to be in my friend. You say I got five more right there, but you have got to get to 5,000. Like, this is not a choice. This, this is not a choice. You have to get to 5,000 friends. And we'll, we'll talk about strategies to do it. I showed you one already in my emails. I'm telling people to send me a friend request. Okay, that's one strategy right there. Tell them in your email broadcast, send me a friend request. Okay, you'd have to have 5,000. Why? Credibility. When people look over your profile and they're going to go to your profile, they're going to go to your, all your profiles 
and they see that you got 5,000 friends, they're like, well, I better, I better listen to this person. This person knows what the heck they're doing. They got 5,000 friends. They've got credibility, right? Absolutely. Okay. So go ahead and write that down. Now, if you got followers, you'll see it up here followed by, and then some of you may not have this displayed because of your settings, or maybe some nobody, maybe nobody's following you, okay? But if you have these, you can go ahead and write this down. Now, one thing I want to say is, you see this right here, this 4997? Most of these people are following me. Like, we're friends, but they're probably also, most of them are also following me, unless they went to my profile and clicked unfollow me. They're all following me, so... If you add those two numbers together, it's not going to be totally accurate. You know what I'm saying? If I subtracted 5,000 from 20,968, that would be a more accurate number, okay? But I want you to write these both numbers down. I want you to see these numbers daily. And the reason I want you to see these numbers daily is because I want you to see your friends list going up daily. I want you to see your followers going up daily. I want you to see that. So put that on your worksheet and write that down, okay? The next thing you want to do is log into LinkedIn, okay, logged into your LinkedIn, and click on, what is it, click on my network, and the same thing over here, I want you to write down your connections, whatever yours says, okay, mine says 6,250 connections, you write down what it says in your worksheet, whatever it may say, okay, all right, I also got uh, a YouTube channel open, now listen, I don't, I don't do YouTube anymore, I actually left YouTube four years ago, um, and at some point in your career, you'll probably leave YouTube too. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not against YouTube whatsoever. I'm not saying that at some point in your career, you're going to go to a hosted video platform. Okay. And what does that mean? It means you're going to pay for server space to put your videos on that way you control your videos. I call these throwaway channels. Okay. Because I don't care what happens to these channels. And I've got about 35 YouTube channels. I'm not kidding you. I add two more each and every single year because uh, Google allows you to add two more uh, uh, channels per year. Two more, uh, you can add them, and uh, they got no problem with it. You verify them and all that kind of stuff with your phone number. But anyhow, I don't want to get off topic here. Just write down however many sub subscribers you have. In this particular channel, I got 3,332 subscribers. Write that down because that's part of your distribution network, okay? Google Plus. Same thing. I'm not a big Google Plus person. I, I do have a couple of people over here. But whatever yours says, log into your Google Plus account, okay? When you go into Gmail or whatever, ha whatever have you, just click on Google Plus, and you'll see it under your profile. You'll see the followers, okay? Mine says 2970 in this particular account, okay? I got many Gmail addresses, so that means I have many Google Plus accounts. And But, but in this particular one, 2970, Okay, part of our distribution network. And then your Instagram, Instagram guys, this is one of my favorites now. This and Twitter, man, I, I was I didn't get this for the longest time. I just didn't understand it. But I understand it now, man. It's awesome. Uh it's kind of like Facebook for pictures, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna talk about this a little bit in a, in a future video. Um, but anyhow, just write down however many followers that you have over here in your Instagram. This is also part of your distribution network, okay? So whatever that number says, write it down. Now, I don't do the whole print, the Pinterest thing. I should do this. I should get organized, and I should do it, um, but I just don't. I don't know why. I just don't do it. But I do have a Pinterest account, and there it is, 1,017 people. I got some followers over here. So whatever your followers are, you write down your followers, okay? And listen, I'm not going to cover every social media site. If you have more than this or other ones that are your favorites, write them down. Any place you can gather up people, okay? Of course, I'm showing you the big ones. The big ones, guys, the big ones that get the most traffic, okay? And that's what you can build the fastest and get the most engagement. Twitter, I've been on, I've been on Twitter for years, never understood it until like recent times, and I mean very recent times. But anyway, how many followers do you have on Twitter? I got 4875. I just started using this thing. I just I, I just didn't get it, man. I don't know. I didn't get the whole Twitter thing. You can see I've had this account since 2011, and I did absolutely nothing with it until recently and I just started using it. I just I don't know, guys. I didn't get the whole Twitter thing for some reason. I just didn't understand what it was all about. Now it's one of my favorites, man. I was, I just I think it's awesome. It's kind of like Facebook uh, and you can tweet and you can put up pictures and videos and you can do all kinds of cool stuff over here at Twitter. It's just one of my new favorite things uh one of my new favorite toys over here, right? In marketing world, uh Twitter, sending out tweets. 
Okay, now, once you get all of those numbers collected up, you're going to get all those numbers collected up, fill out all your boxes, you're going to add up your numbers, okay? So once you get all these filled out, your Facebook, your followers, your Facebook. Oh, I didn't go Facebook group. Let's go back over to that. If you have a Facebook group, that's also part of your distribution network, okay? And um, I have a Facebook group. Let me see here. i got a couple of them, actually, but some of them I don't even, I don't even visit anymore. I just, I'm just really focused right now, guys. I only need to be on one. I only manage one community. So here's a Facebook group that I have, and I've got 15,036 people in this particular group, okay? So if you have your own Facebook group, or it doesn't have to be Facebook. I guess it could be any kind of group that you manage, that you set up, and that it's your own uh, community, okay? Go ahead and grab that number because that's actually part of your distribution network. These people... They probably know who you are. If they're in your group, they know who you are. They know what you're about, what you're doing. They're checking out your content, your valuable uh, training, whatever it may be, guys. So go ahead and grab that number, too. That's definitely part of your distribution network. Okay. Now, we're going to go back over to the sheet and fill all this out. Once you fill all this out, I want you to grab your calculator, and then you can get your total. And that's going to tell you how many people that you can potentially reach. How many people you could potentially reach? Now, you can take your email list and add it to that number, and that's that's the total total number of people that you can reach. Now, I didn't pull that up, but here's my email list right here. I just pulled up Power Lead System. You can see we've got 100,335 contacts over here in Power Lead System. If you click on Contacts, and what is it, Contact Manager? I don't use this too much. Because like I said, guys, I use AWeber. Okay, but yeah, here it is right here. 1, 000, or, I'm sorry, 100,335 uh, leads, okay? So I could potentially reach that entire audience, potentially reach that entire audience plus, plus all of our social media contacts. And that's going to tell you where you're at. I mean, that's where you're at, guys. So you take your total distribution plus your email list, and this is your social distribution network. That is, that's it, guys. Whatever number you come up with, okay? I added up my numbers. They're not accurate. I know I didn't. I missed some things and this and that. But, you know, I, I could potentially reach about 200,000 people. Actually, I think it's a lot more. But I didn't go to all my things and add up every single little thing. But bottom line is I could reach, I could potentially reach about 200,000 people, okay? This number right here was 191, 529. But you're going to have your number. So now you have got a starting point. And this is what I did, guys. This is what I did when I started using this thing called Power Lead System. I started using this share funnel feature, okay? And um, I started to expand my social distribution through all my social media profiles. I started writing down every single day. I physically wrote it down every single day on my worksheet. Of course, I was using a yellow notepad at the time. And uh, I filled it out every day, guys, and I purposely grew every single day. And I told myself at the beginning of the year, I remember in January 2014, I didn't have no 5,000 friends on Facebook. I had probably 22, a little over 2,000, but less than 3,000. And I said, I got to get to 5,000 Facebook friends. And I went to work and I did it every single day. I worked on it every single day. I think I got put in Facebook jail a couple times. Can't remember. But uh, it didn't matter, guys. I hit 5,000 friends, man, because I said, you know what? I got to do this, man. I have to do it. I've got to get to 5,000. So I just worked at it. And, you know, if it, even if it only goes up, you know, 10 people a day, that's 300 people a month. It ain't going to take you long to get to 5,000, but you've got to get there. Okay. Now, uh, let's see here. So total distribution. Yeah, I got I wrote down this little tip right here. We're going to get into the training in the next, the next video in this series. Yeah, this is a tip right here. You know, you're following your tribe, your contacts, your subscribers, your communities, you know, your distribution network. The entire uh, potential prospects that you can reach – they only want to know two things from you, guys. That's, they only want to know two things from you. And if you can get over these two hurdles, you will make money hand over fist. You will. And it, this is the only thing they want to know from you. Does it work? Does your product, does your service, does your whatever it might be, does it work? Does it work? And number two, can I do it too? Can I do it too? Well, if you give them a share funnel... The same funnel that your work that you have, the same funnel that you're working, well, of course they can do it too. It's power lead system supplies this for us, 
right? If you got a share funnel, if you built your own share funnel, or if you plugged into one that a teammate built, right? So can I do it too? I mean, that's that's a given right there. We can solve that problem pretty easily. All we got to do is prove that our product or service it works to whom to our prospects, right? To our prospects, and guess what? We make money hand over fist. You better believe it, guys. You better believe that's how it works, man. It's so simple. Marketing is not di- it's not difficult, guys. It's not difficult. But you got to understand is that your social media sites are just as important as your landing pages, as your sales funnels, and as your email marketing. It is just as important. And when that light bulb went off for me, and I realized that I needed to build my social distribution in addition to my email, I knew I had to be, build my email list. I knew that, guys. I knew this. I knew I had to generate leads and build this email list. I understood this completely. I got this part. The part that was never explained to me was that I also had to build my social distribution network. That was never explained to me. I had to figure this out on my own. And when I figured it out and I went to work, I started dominating things. I'm talking I was a broke man that started taking things over, literally taking things over because I understood the power of this social media. And as we go forward through this course, you're going to you're going to see more and more things. I'm going to un- unveil more and more things, more and more strategies, and this is all going to come together. It's going to be very you're going to have a very clear picture in your mind what to do once we get to the end of this training. All right, guys. That's going to conclude this training. You guys go ahead and get those worksheets squared away, get your numbers added up, figured out where you're at. All that kind of cool stuff. And then what we're going to do next, we're going to get into a little bit of branding in the next video. I just going to give you a quick preview. We're going to go uh, review all of our profiles. We're going to look at some of the settings. I'm going to show you some things that um, you have got to have in place, okay? You've got to have a couple of things in place. We're going to cover that in the next video. And have your pencils ready, guys. Take some notes because next video we're going to go to work. All right, that's going to conclude this training. Frank Calabro, Jr., signing off.